right, what's up YouTube? It's Manuel. Um, here we normally talking about finance and fitness, but today I wanted to kind of do a little bit uh, different of the video. So of course, as you can tell by my attire, I'm in the army. So I'm gonna start including some of those videos and some of the things that I do. So the first one we're gonna do today is how to arrange and roll our shirt, right? And of course you don't have to be in the army to arrange and roll your clothes and get you a little bit of luggage space, but this one's dedicated towards my service members when they're going on their TDYs, when they're going on their deployments, or if they're headed to ranger school, you know, we're trying to get a little bit more space in that duffel bag and that sea bag, and so that we can fit as much as possible. So with that, let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start with the bottom of the shirt, and we're gonna fold that up three inches on both sides, three to four inches, it doesn't really matter. You just wanna give yourself enough space for later. And we wanna get this as tight as possible, right? The, the tighter you make it, the easier it saves you in the back end, and it gets you a neater roll. So. When you get your about your three inches, that's, uh, we can go a little bit more. And then we're gonna flip it over, check the back side, make sure that that is in there as well. The tighter, the, the tighter you keep this early, the tighter your roll will be at the end and the more room it'll save you in that luggage. So once we do that, we have a nice little three inch, three inch fold. We're gonna come up to one of the sleeves and then we're gonna fold that about to where the collar is, right? I would say just about half, just short of half. We're gonna fold that in, and then we're gonna invert the sleeve back on itself. Like I said, you wanna keep this as tight as you can, because the tighter you keep it, the better the, the roll is gonna be at the end. And we're gonna do the same thing with the other half of the shirt. We're gonna go right over that initial flap that we made, keeping everything nice and tight, still working with the bottom, and then inverting that sleeve on itself again keeping this as tight as possible. You, right now you got about like eight inch, nine inch wide shirt, which is great. Cause then you can fit about two, three rows of this across across a drawer, or you could fit, I don't even know how many of these you can fit in a duffel bag. So after we get that folded in half, we're going to flip our shirt around like this to where the top is now facing us. And we're gonna start, and the tighter you start this roll, the, the tighter it stay. So make sure you start real tight. Do it just like if you're rolling like, I don't know if you ever rolled sushi before, if you ever rolled like rustling mats or anything. We're gonna keep our, our fingers nice and tucked in there. And we're gonna keep our palms on the t-shirt and just roll it. I pull horizontal on the shirt as I roll forward just to keep it as tight as possible and then tuck anything extra that comes out as it goes. And we're gonna roll that up. Just take your time. There's no reason to like rush through it because the more often you do it, the faster they get. And so here, a lot of mistakes people make is they, they try to just roll that under there. You'll never get it as tight as you need it to be. You do that. So we're gonna roll on top of that flap and we're gonna turn our flap around and grab the flap from the other side and tuck that roll that we made into that flap. And here, just to get it nice and extra, extra, tight we're gonna go and make sure that we get everything loose in there boom and then you get a little I don't know burrito left over then you do that with all your t-shirts you get them lined up nice and tight to get your drawer looking all neat get you ready in case the drill sergeants are coming to check on you and get as many of these as you can in your um, duffel bag so next video we're gonna do with the pants and then we're gonna do underwears and then we're gonna do the OCV tops for the pool uniform all right till next time